Hey guys and welcome back to Your Fave Buddy Talks About Sexuality and Sensuality or Sensuality and Sexuality. Whatever you wanna say first, you feel me? Um I'm here in my bedroom because I feel like this is gonna be a new episode type of vibe okay so this is going to be the more intimate one where it's just going to be me on my ones or maybe more intimate conversation i don't know yet if this version is going to have guests okay for the listeners i'm in my bedroom and i'm chilling you can see teddy in a bag (laughs) for literally i got a mic i'm gassed i could do this anywhere i want to now but yeah man this is going to be i think personally a more so shorter episode because it's just me going off of my brand and my thoughts all right but i am naomi mt aka your fave baddie and you can find me on literally nearly all social media platforms mainly instagram at underscore n-a-o-m-i mt snapchat official naomi mt tiktok official naomi mt you know what i'm saying but find me on ig and you can find me anywhere youtube naomi my not all right my full name you're gonna put that in there but i'm gonna read something to you that i've written um a few weeks ago actually okay and it says okay i'm gonna read it and if you're watching the video you might even see a screenshot of the way i've written it it's like all women do for men is suck their dick fuck them and maybe cook for them then you'll meet a woman with substance that doesn't want to hold you with those three basics and you're thrown off all they give you is surface level connection packaged in a box that has substance written on it yet when the men receive the surface level they don't question it so what i'm trying to say here is literally that i'm tired of men playing themselves short or boys okay i think there's a big 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 difference between men and boys which we have to take into consideration right now because yeah boys are easily excited they're easily excited by someone giving them sexual attention physical attention and just generally attention that's what i'm saying it's like all women have to do nowadays is suck your dick cook for you and fuck you and that is just below me like that is just below me it's not of it's not it's not in a conversation of oh why why are women doing this or why are people just giving those free things um but my issue is that there are good men out there that are literally just taking that and just accepting that and thinking that that is what makes a woman someone to suck your dick fuck you and maybe cook for you once in a while and give you some attention i think that's the minimum that's like the that's the bruh that (laughs) don't kill me here today bro guys that is literally below bare minimum that is ridiculous okay if that's the only thing that people are going for it's like yo what's really going on so and what i've noticed is that certain type of men or let's say boys because we all have dealt with boys before is like they accept that and they just take it for what it is so now when they see a woman that has substance and that has you know what I'm saying? That's highly spiritual. That's highly vibrational. A woman that has things going on for herself. When they see that type of woman now coming in the picture, they are thrown off because all of a sudden they get more than those three basic things I've mentioned a lot at the beginning. They get more than just sexual attention and someone cooking for them. They get nurturing. They get submission. They get love they get comfort they get a safe space they get peace they get someone that listens to them they get someone that's interested in them but all of a sudden it's too much for them so it's like men yeah often we talk about women selling themselves short and settling but i think men are doing the same out here and it saddens me it saddens me it just saddens me because i feel like there's so much better out there for you and you can have that and you deserve it and it's really about this conversation that I'm having with you guys. This topic that we're talking about is actually really about self-worth. We all individually and also collectively have to understand our self-worth. I do believe, I say this, right? I say this. I do believe that at a certain age, you're more likely to actually see your self-worth. Um, I personally will say mid-20s is when you really sit down and realize certain things because you have to 
some people beginning of their 20s or even earlier because of circumstances they've went through and things that have shaped them in their life and made them more mature in certain aspects or in that aspect where they have to realize okay cool you know what nah like i need to i need to yeah i need to fix up but self-worth is so important and this is one thing that i've been working on for i would say definitely since the beginning of 2022 um some people may hear this and be like i'm a bit confused because you always talk about self-love and you've been on your self-love journey for a lot of years i think there's a big difference between self-love and self-worth this sounds weird but i think there's a big difference it's like self-love can be very nurturing very soft very in the moment present um it can be very one-dimensional just to you personally where self-worth has to do with every single thing you're doing in your life it's connected to every single thing you're doing and every single thing you're experiencing every single person you're meeting and that's what makes the difference self-worth once you start seeing and realizing like yo my self-worth ain't really where it needs to be that's when you start putting yourself out of the box you're like wait a second is this really what i'm settling for is this really what i'm going for is this is this what i agreed to and you start looking at yourself in the mirror like girl or oh, bruh <laughs> this can't be it this is this is not cute this is not cute at all it's like i support it you know what i'm saying i'm so i support it <laughs> like i su- i support it for like a specific amount of time in your life but you get to that point where you're really like wait i could have so much better and i deserve so much better because your self-worth you're seeing the worth you have you're seeing the power you have you're seeing the magic you have and the magic you are and you don't want to sell yourself short anymore because you're at a high vibrational level where it's like you know what god wanted better for me and i'm ready to step into that zone i'm ready to receive it i'm ready to live it i'm ready to breathe it i'm ready to feel it yeah that's what self-worth is you have that wake-up call and a lot of people are stuck i say this all the time a lot of people are stuck in the sexual energy the sexual vibration that that sacral that sacral chakra because don't get me wrong our sexual energy is the most powerful thing one of the most powerful things especially as women because we just go and create anything you know what i'm saying creativity is literally your divine feminine but you're gonna have to double check yourself on what you're creating what are you bringing to the to the forefront of your life what is it that you're continuously seeing again what are the issues you're having in your relationships whether that's friendships or romantic relationships or business relationships what is really going on you feel me and that's 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 literally why self-worth is so important because you're selling yourself short the thing that I started was reading to you guys that men literally set up women that would just suck their dick, fuck them, and maybe cook for them. And they believe that that is the highest level of a partner they could get or the highest level of a connection they can have with a woman. There is so much more and so much deeper. And the same for women. But I feel like women, we intuitively know there's a lot more. And we, we long for a lot more. We're very sentimental emotional and deep and we have that ocean of emotions going on that's just us as women do you know what i'm saying that's a real woman that's what i believe you own your emotions and you're not scared to feel it through whereas men they just be like oh i'm content i'm comfortable this is it she's a good girl like yeah i like this like nigga no respectfully respectfully Because how can it be that a real woman will walk up to you and you still go back to those girls that do all of that? You guys don't understand the terminology I'm using here, right? A real woman comes up to you and you go back to those girls. At the beginning, I said there's boys that will literally 
go back to that and think that's the highest level because they're stuck in their sexual like energy and everything that's just making that so exciting whereas a man will now look around and be like whoa like there's good women out here and at some point I want a life partner at some point I want someone that I can also go to and and talk to things about and and someone that makes sense someone that is deep someone that is stimulating my mind not just my body and my you know eating something like food like there's so much more and deeper to the connections we have in our life guys and i think that's where really i'm going at even besides the sexual and sexual energy some people have been stuck in that frequency and not seeing beyond it and thinking that's the most powerful thing and force and that's the best level of connection da, da, da. you need to look for substance in your life at the end of the day that's what i believe you need to look for substance and go and get it you need to make sure that you're full of substance and you can pour into someone and you can pour life and so much magic into it because what are we really here for that's what i sometimes wonder i think since i've been a little girl i've been like yo what are we here on this earth to do keeping it real and i'm having this conversation with you guys at 209 in the blood clout morning <laughs> what are we really here to do society well let's start with humans okay let's start with humans humans have made a civilization a society an evolution a revolution so much amazing things that humans have created you know what i'm saying look at us i have a mic i have some headphones i got my laptop right here i got my phone my teddy in the back led lights we got lashes on lip gloss pink bro i'm on a bed you feel me like all these things we've made but besides creation of things and necessary things because the things i mentioned to be honest were quite necessary some of them some of them but um besides that you know why are we on the planet with lots of others like us meaning human beings not talking about skin color i'm not talking about anything okay just human beings why is there so many of us here in this one place and we're gonna all com communicate in different languages and body language and you know touch all that stuff why are we here what is this meant to be and I truly believe if we just break it down to the simple things, we're here to connect. We are here to connect. We're not here to do anything else but connect. And that is connect with people around us. That is connect with nature. And that is connecting with yourself. But people get caught up in everything that we got going on. And all of a sudden, connection doesn't matter. So I'll ask you guys to just dive a bit deeper sometimes. To just connect a bit more sometimes. To just take that layer of ego away sometimes and be a person be a soul be a spirit that i can clearly come to in peace because all the things you know standards rules laws guidelines how it was raised all the things we grew up with that has an impact on us you know and that's normal but you want to go back to a clear space, just a blank surface. Like, just go back to what really humans are, and we're here to connect. That's it. Take the the ego away. Take the like the bare minimum away. Like, what what makes us happy is actually good connections and love. Not love in a romantic way all the time. Having a connection with anyone that's watching this or listening right you have that one person that just matters to you that you love maybe even more than your own life that might be a parent that might be a sibling that might be your child that might be your partner might be a friend we all have someone that means a lot to us some of them are not here anymore some of them are here yeah but there's someone that means so much to us and again if this is someone that's not your romantic partner it's even easier for you to understand because you understand it's not based on that romantic love of me asking what am i getting and is this conditional love or unconditional love no this is unconditional love this is a type of love that will never go away that type of love that 
makes you breathe for another day. Those type of people in your life, that's connections. That's what makes us happy. That's what makes us happy. You can go through the roughest day, but that person will make it better. The roughest week, the roughest month, the roughest year, and that person will make it better. You can have the roughest life, and that person will make it better. And sometimes, for everyone that's listening, sometimes that might be yourself, okay? So don't feel a type of way if you don't have no one that's popping up in your head. But I feel like a lot of people listening and watching this have someone that's popping up in their head where it's like, yo, damn, like, what would life be like without that connection, without ever having made that connection? Again, to the people that have lost that person, maybe that person's in a different dimension right now, do you know what I'm saying? It's not here, it's not here. But that soul connection, that spirit connection, that's powerful, bro. Y'all are playing with the wrong things nowadays. Stop playing with the wrong things. Why are you playing, first of all? Like, <laughs> on this video, you know what I'm saying? We agreed to play. Like, let's play a game. Cool. But stop playing with the things that matter. Stop playing with the things that make you who you are. Stop playing with the things that can make you a better person, which is genuine connections and relationships. I'm so tired of seeing people selling themselves short. And this can even be myself in certain situations where it's like, I had that wake up call that you with me, myself, and I, where it's like, you're selling yourself short. Like, your standard is just below what actually makes you happy. Your standard should be at where it makes you happy. So no one can judge it. For all the people that are talking about material or thinking about materialistic things right now, your standard is dodged off because if we was all naked in the jungle in the forest you know what I'm saying all your materialistic ah, 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 wouldn't matter so please think a bit deeper do that one thing for me it's May 2022 I want you to think deeper I want you to dive deeper I want you to feel more yeah vibe responsibly there's a lot of no vibe out here and it not really, not really, <laughs> it not really makes sense. Like, again, you're playing with the wrong things. That's really it, guys. This is a little short one. I don't know if you guys are gonna like this. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are gonna like this. Would you just be going off on this topic? But that is why I brought this mic. I'm keeping it real because there's so many times I feel like I have something to say. I mean, if you see it. Me need someone to hear it and record it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm excited to put this out and see what's going If you guys are enjoying this, let me know. Put in the comments. Post this, share this, like this. DM me, tag me. Do any type of thing you have to do upon any type of platform because me want to see if you like this, yeah? If you do, you're going to see me again in my bedroom. <laughs> the more intimate setting. But guys, thank you so much for listening in to your fave buddy talks about sensuality and sexuality. I hope this gave you some some wisdom, something to think about, something to learn from, some spirituality, some deep soul food. I hope this gave you something. Yeah. And I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.